What's up everybody, this is Leon De Star, and today I'm going to announce that the ASCII Step 16 standard has landed into the latest Milky Tracker X build. So what does ASCII Step 16 mean? Basically it means more live performance. Check this out. So there you have it, basically Groovebox live performance features in a tracker. So let me give you a bit of context. This is exactly how these devices work. These devices are pretty much very similar to trackers, but they have less buttons. So uh, they have a step uh, functionality for each key, uh, which you can turn on and off as well as the channels. So I was thinking, hey, if we have trackers and they can do a lot of cool stuff, why don't we do this here as well? Because uh, the tracker concept is usually, um, it's kind of uh, focused around the idea of a PC keyboard as a piano, which is super cool, but in uh, live performance uh, mode, I think this, you know, the step sequencer concept is also very cool. So I thought, hey, why don't I come up with a sort of standard to uh, make this more um, common in trackers? So I basic, basically came up with this standard ASCII step 16, which maps the first 16 uh, steps of hardware sequencers or any uh, pattern sequencer to the first 16 keys of a PC keyboard. The only catch is that the shift key is used to toggle this uh, mode. So without shift you will just have a, a normal uh, keyboard piano feature. However, if I press shift then it becomes a toggle, toggle on, toggle off of notes. You see? And the same goes for um, the numeric. Um, let me see. Here you can see Shift Q is step zero, Shift V is one. And for the channels, it's basically Shift one is mute, unmute channel one. Shift 2 is mute, unmute channel 2, etc. So this allows a, a completely similar live performance mode as with um, hardware sequencers. Check this out. If I press uh, Shift 1, 2, 3, 4 at the same time, boom, all the channels are muted. If I do it again, and they're back online. And this is, I think, uh, um, it kind of breaks the whole idea that trackers are only for linear music composition. I think with this we can do exactly uh, similar live sets uh, which consist of patterns, samples and you can basically turn off, turn off uh, percussion uh, parts. I think this is a, a big milestone and I don't know why it didn't happen before. Um, I think I, I will still have to practice this and learn it, just like with the, um, the hardware sequencers, but I'm confident that after a bit of practicing, uh, the muscle memory will be there, and I'm definitely curious how to create uh, one XM file, which is, uh, uh, let's say, an hour-long live set, because I think, um, I've also read in the documentation, if you press this, 
question mark. There is also um, some kind of jump command. So you could technically um, create some smart um, loops between patterns as well. I, I'm not completely sure about it, but uh, it's definitely uh, worth exploring. So there you have it, ASCII Step 16. I hope you like it. I hope um, if you have any ideas, also drop some comments and uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye.